Hey Taurus and welcome to your love read for the first half of May 2023. This is your bi-weekly love. Uh, I'm starting out, uh, I just did Aquarius's and I'm starting with you next. So let's take a look and see what is going on for you. Now whether you're single coupled or have yet to meet someone, it might be something that you find on one side versus the other. So feel free to reverse sides guys as you see fit. So uh, keep that in mind. Um, guys, we have got a full moon that's happening in Scorpio and shoot when is it happening where's my moon calendar uh May 5th May 5th let me just make sure yeah May 5th okay good all right so May 5th what did I read okay, so that that puts your your full moon um and lunar eclipse that falls in your seventh house of partnerships Ooh, this is time to get clear on what you want in your relationships or your connections all right uh, making sure that you're, you, uh, are re, re, kind of, re, what I'm, I'm thinking of the word reciprocity in both of caring and giving and receiving something about reciprocity. Okay. So, um, maybe there's a change in play if, if, if there is a, you know, that's not happening, but let's take a look. Okay. Let's take a look at what's coming out for you here. All right. Oh my gosh, you guys, I hope you're doing well. I can't believe we're already in May already. Uh, you got some good stuff happening though here. Uh, give me three more cards for Taurus. How you guys doing? Note your comments below. Hit the like button and subscribe, guys. Uh, let me know that this resonates with you or that you're here and you support my channel, guys. I do appreciate it. So what's at the bottom of the deck? Eight of Wands. So this is like, you know, this is movement, okay? So if there wasn't movement before, there's going to be movement, guys. This is a, something's going to change. This is change and movement kind of moving with a focused center, okay? So it's about focusing in and being on the same page, okay? But there is some sort of movement that brings in some sort of balance. And it might be what I just talked about, okay? Uh, you know, reciprocity, you know, that type of thing. But let's take a look. What does Spirit want you to know most about this? Uh, we're going to see what comes out for you. What does Spirit want you to know most about this Eight of Wands? That's fire energy. What do we get? Healing. You're going through some healing right now. Wow, this is a 66 car reducing to a 12, and that it reduces to a three, and threes are all about you know communication, right? Your third house has to do with you know your interactions, your thinking, speaking, writing, learning, and that type of thing. So you could be going through some healing based upon your, and and, and it might even have to do with uh, you know uh, something about learning too, about how to get on the same page and to change old behaviors and adopt new ones. It's something of the sort, all right? Um, and even that, right after that, I get abundance coming through. Yeah, healing that bring, that springs forward and brings you to abundance. And and, and that's what I get, wow. All right, so interesting. Um, let's take a look at where, you, where you're at right now, the current moment. So I get the chariot card. This is about taking action, moving forward on faith, right? Balancing the light and the dark side and this is moving forward and taking action on faith right now. Ooh, so this could be you that's actually doing this right now. This is achievement through your effort and even self-mastery in terms of what it is that you're doing. Now, it is a seven card, and that's seventh house of partnership. So you might be taking, you know, having faith in terms of taking action towards what or whom you want, Okay. I do get the Queen of Wands, which is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That could be someone around you, someone that's helping you perhaps. Very sexy, very beautiful, very intuitive. Has a lot of courage and great intuition, okay? She is all about shifting energies, you know, creating that elixir, but about, you know, transformation to make something bloom anew. And I feel she's super optimistic. And this could be you taking on the energy, being optimistic and taking action, okay? Or someone around you that is crossing you that, that could be helping you here. Uh, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, give me anything more about where Taurus is, is at, the, at this moment. Ah, someone that's helping you perhaps with some sort of heartbreak, you know, in a situation. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So maybe that you are healing from some sort of heartbreak in a situation. Uh, give me a card on that. And it's, it's, oh my gosh, guys, are you, I thought we covered this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I'm sending so much love. I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing kind of with you here because, um, here, here's, this is the thing. This is something because this is all about, um, you know, heartbreak and achieving some sort of anxiety. But here's the beauty of this. There's communication that it could be coming to an end because I get the nine of swords. That's at the very tail end. That's coming to fruition. 
I like seeing this here. I'm glad it's not like a, you know, three or four or something like that. But this is about uh, transforming, you know. Uh, you're kind of caught in a spider web here, you know, of, of rumination. But you can see there's a little butterfly there that wants to get out. And it's about transforming this. Now, it's a nine, which I love. Again, it is about a search for meaning as to why am I staying up? Why is this ruminating here? And, and why can't I forget, you know, about the heartbreak of the past? Give me one more card for you. What do I get? King of Swords. Could be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius here, okay? That could be the case, all right? Or this is about getting control of your mind because the King of Swords is in control of their mind. And this is taking leadership of that, having authority over clear thinking and intellectual. So it could be someone helping you or this is you taking on that energy or you might have someone like that, or that you know, someone around you. Maybe it is about a... Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But let's go ahead and pull another card about where you're at right now. You're, you're in separation. You're longing for this person. You're longing for perhaps someone that is around you. Oh my gosh, you guys. And, but what you're doing in the meantime is you're focusing on wanting to build a, a solid structure. That's what you want. Building a solid structure is what I am getting. All right. Um, and that's, you know, could be something that you're currently working on at this moment. All right. Anything else? The sword and the rose, like you're loving, but you're also strong. And that's what I get. This is saying, hey, I want the truth. I want the revelation of the situation. Um, this is about having the power, but also, uh, you know, protection as well. So getting the clarity. Maybe you've got the clarity surrounding, uh, you know, perhaps that person. Um, let's take a look at anything else about where you're at right now. What do we get? Mm. Well, <clears throat> excuse me, guys, this could be the one. Whoever it is that you're thinking about, I feel that you've already met them, okay? You've already met that person that you're looking for uh, because I get this could be the one, okay? So I feel that you've already met the person that you are looking for. Uh, and um, I want to take a look on what you need to focus in on. And just before I do, I want to pull one thing. Yeah, just know that you're protected, guys. If you're going through some sort of difficulty, um, you know, just can keep moving forward and remain cautious. And I think that's why I got... You know, keep loving, but be strong, you know, keep moving forward and then be cautious, you know, and that's what I get with the sword energy coming through in the rose, the sword and the rose just tell me strength and love and just know that you're protected. And this is, this says you're protected and also the next card does as well. And, um, you know, you know, it, 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 as you face your challenges in love, remain cautious, but move forward. Okay. Um, as you face these challenges, what you need to focus in on is the king of cups balancing out your emotions um now there could be someone in you know around you um that is emotionally balanced and has authority over that or this is just you taking on that energy all right so i, I like this is really being in control yeah what you need to focus in on is 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 uh, balancing out your emotions and this is coming together this is you know two dolphins down here are super playful and loving you know and this is two people expressing love um, this, is, this is some sort of partnership or attraction. Now, this could be of a, a love connection. For those of you that aren't connected, this could be a business connection that you are in partnership with at this moment as well. Um, but uh, nevertheless, I kind of get something's blooming, all right? It's two people, you know, uh, expressing emotions of love, even though that there are some things that are hidden. I get the Two of Cups um, and what else? And then I get the Prince of Wands. So this is about making some sort of enthusiastic discovery regarding the partnership uh, and how to uh, uh, balance your emotions is what's coming through. Fire energy. So um, yeah, this is about really focusing in on that. You've made some sort of discovery, okay? Some sort of discovery is coming through here, okay? Hmm. You could be delivering a message or a message could be coming to you um, about a discovery, watching you, spying on you. Someone could be watching or spying on you, okay? Or you watching or spying on someone else, okay? Uh, whoa, okay, uh, anything else? Uh, in the past, uh, maybe in the past that, uh, maybe in the past that you were suffered, but you're going through a renewal here. See, you are, um, you know, you're no longer kind of this way. I think that you're making a move. It says universe says, you know, what you need to focus in on is not this, not the lack, but the renewal at this moment. There is a renewal. There is a spark that is, is and it wants you to take that flame and to be able to run with it, okay? 
Um, yeah, even at the bottom of the deck, I get celebrations, gifts, and abundance is what you need to focus in on. On all that is before you and that you're so lucky to have, this is really coming for you, the, the celebration, okay? It's like taking off the mask and really seeing something here, all right? Um, anything else of what you need to focus in on? What do we get? Change. Yep, it's, it's time to create a change, guys. If you've been focusing in on lack of... And, you know, what, what, and, and, and anxiety and despair, this is about learning different tools in order to um, create change in those areas to get to the source and uh, have a more positive, um, you know, uh, strategies in order to overcome that, you know, to overcome that. And if you need help with that, uh, check the link, guys, in my description box below for a discovery session. I, I work with those on that. Um, and it's just getting to where you want to be and getting yourself in alignment, body, mind, and soul, and spirit. And, and this is about getting in alignment and, and obviously creating healthy boundaries as well. But this is saying focus on change. Focus on change. Um, what does spirit want you to know most in terms of um, where you're at right now? I mean, what you need to focus in on. Let's just pull, uh, I'm going to pull out an, an extra card here for you. What is it that you need to focus in on? Let's take a look. What do we get? Okay, what do we got here? Ooh, interesting. Oh, of course, it's a seven card, and that has to do with house of partnerships. Interesting. So, you know what I get? This is a blood angel, and this is almost as if that there is some sort of opportunity that is around you. It's like um, you are, you've been given a gift of life, all right? Expansion, more energy, and more life is what I get, all right? Um, for your soul to become uh, more free, all right? Um, it is, um, this is opening up to receive. I mean, it's it's like you get some sort of, um, you get some sort of gift. It's like the sunset is coming through in this and it makes its way out of the darkness and into the light and it's kind of like a wave. And I feel that this is, there's more to life. It's, it's, it's clarity that you get in the morning after the the grief and the darkness, uh, you know, of the grief. You get the clarity after the darkness of the grief, you know, right here. You get the clarity that comes out. You get the, some sort of clarity is what I get. It's coming for you to help your soul and, and, and for a sense of security. There's a blessing of well-being and vitality that's coming. So, you know, if you've been really tired lately, Taurus, and and um, and you may be just not engaging in so much in into your practices or or, or projects, is saying that's going to stretch you. To, you're going to reach a point where it's going to stretch and challenge you. Um, yeah, you are being instilled where you are are having to move forward um, financially with a brand and and, and, and lovingly with a new life force. Hmm. Yeah. There's nothing to really be, there's nothing here that, that I find concerning. It comes, it's a seven card. It's about having faith and partnerships. So spirit wants you to know that and focus in on that and focus on rituals that actually, you know, really bring you more protection. All right. Uh, meditation, healing and wellness rituals will really, really help you. Um, yeah, this is what I get. And the wisdom will just come to you, uh, at the right time here is what I get. Uh, anything else that, that shines through? What do we get? I mean, you need to focus in on soulmates. Oh my gosh. There's a soul contract here with, between you and another person. Look at, I get, this could be the one and I get soulmates. So what you need to focus in on is the soul connection, the partnership and agreement that you're looking for in love. Okay. I do get soulmates coming through. Hmm. What you need to focus in on is you. <laughs> Look at this. It's in your strength position. The, the Herobond energy is Taurus energy. And this is like you're planning your map, you know, where you're, or, or, you know, what brings peace to your world. And you're creating something. You could be working on a project. Uh, you could be manifesting, you know, what it is that you want, the abundance that you're looking for. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of like he's got a vision between the mountains. This person knows how to move forward between the mountains, uh, in, in some sort of adversity and to bring peace to the world. It's like he knows the path here. And it is about being strong and courageous with the bear here. And then you've got, uh, you've got uh, 
uh, the bull there on the other side as well. Wow, and he's got a light and he's planning something out. So it could be that you're connected with Source in terms of planning something out, but your strength is to uh, you know, find peace and to find your values and find out what it is that uh, balances you. I feel that um, I feel that it, it, it's an opportunity to, I don't know, to really get really, really balanced and, uh, and, 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 and know what your values are. And that's what's going to be super key. I want to know more on your strength. Seven of Wands. This is about building healthier boundaries around you, okay? This is coming into play. Another seven in House of Partnerships, healthy boundaries, um, you know, and having the courage, the Leo, you kind of see the Leo lion up there. It's kind of like the lion, having the courage of the lion to persevere. The courage to persevere towards what it is that you want amidst the obstacles. Yeah, and I got Seven of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, all right? And this is you feeling very satisfied, getting to the point where you feel very satisfied, moving forward. Wow, you've achieved something. Give me one more card on your strain. Yep, you get the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Wands. As you persevere, you become more satisfied. And, and this is, uh, again, balancing out the light and the dark side of the chariot. You took action, now you're persevering. Even though things are hidden, you're still strong enough to move forward. You know, there's a sword in the moon and not sure... You know, it, but he's following his own instincts there. And it's making you really happy. Wow. Let's let's pull a little bit more in terms of your strength position. What do we get? Feminine energy. You're focusing on using your third eye, okay? And there could be communications and messages, perhaps, of travel that are coming through, okay? Maybe that you like you travel or maybe that, uh, yeah, and you're focused on your self-worth and, and, and that's what's coming through as well. Uh, any other uh, information that wants to come through in your strength position? Spirituality. Another seven card. Well, 77. You might be seeing a lot of duplicate numbers, guys. A lot of twos, a lot of, you know, one, 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 you know, 11, 11s, uh, ones, twos, fours in a row. You might be seeing that in even sevens, okay? Um, but spirituality, is, it, it's about having faith and connecting with source to move you forward. What you need to know, you know, in the near future, guys, is there's a whole shift that's happening for you. The universe is co-creating with you. So what hasn't been working is going to shift. This is a major expansion and a turning point. It's ruled by Jupiter, and it's great to have this in your near future because this tells me that you've got an opportunity for luck to transpire and come through, and, and something's going to help you here. The Wheel of Fortune is a 10 card. It's coming to fruition. So whatever hasn't been working is going to have a different shift in that, okay? Now, if something has been working, you're not gonna stay there forever, so enjoy it, but, uh, okay, so keep that in mind, especially in love, with this love read. And what do I get? The moon card, following your instincts. You're following your instincts due to the change, all right, Pisces energy. And then this is about getting rest and recuperation, and know you're protected in that process, but getting rest to rejuvenate and, and, and uh, uh, revitalize you, okay? And I get the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. And again, this could be someone that is around you. You're taking on this energy. Maybe you're starting your own business, being a visionary and entrepreneur, or you're visualizing what you want in your love life. You're making some changes in that, all right? You're making some changes in terms of that. Anything else? Love. Oh, Taurus, I get unconditional love. This is focusing on affection, attraction, oneness, and as you all know, that love starts with you, all right? It starts with you, and this is what's coming through. So you've got a big heart, you know, and that's what I see coming through. Um, there could be some sort of union that's coming together. Now, you could be coming together body, mind, soul, and, and that type of thing, or you could be integrating uh, yourself with another person through this change that's taking place here. Um, let's take a look at anything else that uh, might want to come through for you here. Let's pull this other deck. Um, let's see what wants to come out for you here. What do we get? Romantic feelings. Well, you're, it, it's, it, it's about sharing your feelings and knowing that they're real and knowing that your feelings are worth exploring, okay? And that's what I get that's coming through, and that's in your near future. Your suggested approach is the Queen of Swords. This is being very uh, perceptive and being very quick thinking in terms of moving forward. Uh, I mean, nothing past her. I mean, she really focuses in on, um, you know, being able to 
you know, kind of cut through, uh, you know, cut through the, the, uh, the crap and be able to move forward. I mean, she really knows. Okay. So I feel that there is an opportunity to, um, take a look at something and she, it's about creating transformation. It's like you're being strong, seeing the bigger picture and then, you know, creating some sort of, um, shift in that. I mean, you can see how there's all these butterflies that are around her, which is a lot of transformation that's happening. And there is an eagle that's right in the middle there, which are taking like a bigger standpoint, a bigger view. She is brutally honest. Quite frankly, she's going to tell it how it is. Now, this could be you or another person around you, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But, you know, she is level-headed and, and she's knowing what she wants and she's not afraid to go after it, okay? She's stern, but she doesn't... Uh, you know, let uh, emotion cloud her judgment. And this could be you taking on this energy or someone around you. Your suggested approach, anything else that comes through? Okay, what do we get? Eight of Wands. Ooh, that was at the bottom of the deck in your original read, I believe. Uh, and this is all about, you know, uh, centering around one area, travel change and movement, and now coming, being on the same page. But there is movement in a connection or situation is what I feel. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And then I get the Knight of Swords. Uh, motioning forward, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, and air energy. Motioning forward, coming through fast. Uh, someone that comes through fast. What else? And, um, you know, it's like uh, if someone comes through hasty, um, it, maybe it feels like, like it's an issue. Like uh, it's an issue. And this is about a princess of cups. Oh, someone comes through fast and wants to express emotion. Someone realizing kind of it's an expression of emotion that's coming through here. Hmm. Someone that wants to come through fast, but this time they're here to express some sort of emotion. All right, some sort of synchronicity that is that is happening. All right, what you how you, your suggested approach is you're healing. Um, you're healing from a toxic relationship connection or addiction in a situation. Um, you know, and or maybe this person is coming through. There's someone that's coming through. Perhaps an air sign that's coming to you and telling you that, um, you know, maybe that they've had an addiction of some sort and affected your connection with them, or this could be you, you know, or them. Maybe it was a, a somewhat of a toxic relationship um, and you're healing things. There's a rebirth coming through, a rebirth, your suggested approach. Well, you need to know, Prince of Swords, <laughs> curious and energetic, the same card, you know, it's kind of like, um, almost like the Knight of Swords coming through, but it's, it's a, um, it's, it's moving forward. Uh, well, it's kind of like this one, the, the eight of wands moving forward with movement. Um, but in any event, it is coming forward, um, very, very, um, uh, very fast. Okay. Someone's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and it's about cutting through the illusions. What you need to know. Yeah. It's like, you can cut through the illusions. I feel that, um, it's also a person might have water in their chart. But I feel that it's about cutting through the illusion and there was a detour that was a divine intervention. So something came down and um, it puts you on a different path. And then I get the three of cups. You're getting support from others. This is you focusing on you, getting support from others in your community. Three of cups coming together in communication, friendship and community. And then I get you queen of pentacles coming through here. Luxurious, um, you know, just beautiful. All the growth that is surrounding her is gorgeous. That motherly energy. You're focused in on you, Taurus, is what I'm getting. What else? You're taking leadership role in your love life. It's coming to fruition. And you're taking control of your emotions to keep you grounded. Sacral chakra, root chakra. And I feel that it's coming to fruition that you're taking leadership of your emotions. Like your emotions are not going to get the best of you. Okay. Uh, and anything else? getting to know each other. You could be getting to know someone new guys. And I get all, I get fire, earth, air, and, and, um, and water. So, I mean, but I feel that if there is that, that soulmate person that you feel that you're really connected to and, um, you know, exploring your feelings with this person, as you reveal yourselves, it, it the bond gets closer and stronger with each other is what I get. Now, this other person, the clarity. They got some sort of clarity. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They got some sort of clarity. And they're going to, oh my gosh, coming forward in clarity and then coming forward and expressing emotion. All right. You get the Knight of Cups. This is usually romantic, charming, and it's going to express, you know, love for the most part. They got clarity. Oh my gosh, you guys. Check out Aquarius's read, will you? Uh, because for those of you who might be doing the Aquarius, you might want to really check it out. 
Um, and then I get balance bringing in justice. Wow. Clarity, movement, forward, expression of emotions, justice, boom, things are balanced. How about that coming through? How about that divine detour in, in interaction, right? Man, some sort of divine intervention. Yeah, someone has been watching you, okay? Someone's been focusing in, you know, on the, on the situation, and they have been, and, and they understand. It's like, perhaps you guys have been mirroring each other and reflect, reflecting each other's wounds, you know, within each other, which caused for deeper introspection in here, okay? Uh, anything else about where this person is at? Forgiving and learning. Wow. There, it's about them trying, uh, releasing the past and being able to experience more love. Maybe there was a past this person needed to let go before they could move forward. And that would be, you know, with you or anyone for that matter. Uh, what they need to focus in on? <laughs> you. <laughs> Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo energy is coming through. Wow. Uh, being grounded as well. Okay. Um, they regret, yeah, they regret the repression of emotions that they maybe they didn't tell you something. So they did some shadow work. Oh, it's funny. I did shadow work and I pulled the shadow card. Um, yeah, they've been doing some shadow work. But yeah, I mean, exactly. Uh, in their strength position. Yeah, they're, uh, they, uh, they were fearful. They're, they had some limitations. And so they were fearful. Uh, and now they actually got the clarity that they need. Okay, so once they were fearful before, but now they got the clarity is what I'm getting. They got some sort of clarity within a situation. All right. Anything else in their strength position? A karmic completion. Wow, guys, an end of a karmic cycle. It's an ending. There's fresh energy. You got it on your side. Okay, it's coming through, which is really positive. So I like seeing that uh, near future. Empress energy, birthing something new. Oh my gosh. Wow. After um, all the uh, challenges of the past, and then I get princess of pentacles. Birthing something new after challenges and coming, like I feel is coming towards you, uh, princess of pentacles. This is birthing something new, manifestation and opportunity moving forward. And empress energy after, oh my gosh, you guys. Wow, this is what I get within the near future for this person. They've been focusing on their finances and career, so there maybe some finances has, has, has kind of affected them in some sort of way. But I'm going to take this to an extended to find out what they haven't told you, what they want most, and next steps, as well as timing on that. We'll find out how they feel about you, how you feel about them, um, what you hope the next steps to be, and what you haven't told them what you want most to. Uh, potential outcome with Oracle Advice. And I might pull um, some cards on what's going to help, what's, what spirit's advice is going to help you most in this connection over these first couple weeks uh, and, you know, what makes this connection really work. So click the link, guys, in the description box below if you're interested. I take a deep dive in my extended. So if you're interested, um, click the link and I look forward to seeing you next time. Namaste.